Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. And by the video title, what this video is about. Five players who the Miami Heat should maybe trade for. Um, The five players I feel like the Miami Heat should trade for and the trade deadline is coming up, is approaching us fast. And the Heat probably going to wait to close to the end to do a, a deal. We've been talking about this topic multiple times throughout the season. Um, you know, Last year, a couple of videos I made on it. Uh, I feel like the five guys I have, you've probably seen them on the thumbnail already. These are the five guys I believe the Heat should trade for to kind of improve our team, to get us ready for that big-time playoff um, run. And I feel like this year, we got to make something happen. we got to make it happen and get back to the finals. Um, one guy is Serge Ibaka. Serge Ibaka may be in the buyout market. Might get may get bought out, um, but Serge Ibaka is a guy. If you, you can trade for him, add him to the team, it'd be a big plus over Deadman. Um, it also would bring us, you know, elite level um interior defense that Ibaka play with. Ibaka, they call him, and he can shoot on the three, stretch the floor. He's just a big, solid guy, athletic guy. You know what Serge Ibaka can do at that. And in the Heat scheme, it'd be nice to see what he, what he does and stuff, and see how he works with the team like that. It might be a little different because he'd be clogged up in the inside a little bit in the paint because he, he can shoot the three too, but he, you know, he's more like inside type of guy. But it would be a great addition to have. It would be a big-time upgrade over Deadman. Uh, another guy is Kelly Linick. Kelly Linick is a guy who played in Miami. Remember, played in Miami for a while. He was in there. He was here like for four, what, five years? Four or five years. He was here in Miami. He played for a while. Those years we missed the playoffs and those years when we struggled a little bit and we got um, almost, we got swept by the uh, Santa Sixers or lost, uh, I think it was the gentleman's sweep. Yeah, we lost um, in five games to Santa Sixers that one year when Gordon Dragic slapped Ben Simmons in the back of the head on that one play. But um, it, was, it was just like, Kelly Linick was a guy. He played solid. He could stretch the floor. Um, his only thing that was bad by him was the defense, though. The defense, um, interior defense to be exact. I think he um used to get beat a lot and got bullied inside a little bit on uh, interior defense. But I feel like he'd be a solid guy to add. He's seven feet like that. He's seven feet. He can shoot the three. He's been in the system before. Come back to the system. Bring him back. I feel like we can make something happen. Make some noise. Um, with um Kelly Lennox. Another guy on the list. Um, is Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder is another guy who's been here before too in the system. Um, Jay Crowder is a three and D type player. He can stretch the floor by shooting a three. He can go around the perimeter. He can be at four that you had. You had him when you went to the finals, and he was a big time player. He had some big time shots for you, making some big time plays. And yeah, Peter Tucker last year. Peter Tucker was a big time guy who we had last year, and I feel like Jay Crowder would be a big, big addition. And we can add him. I know he's a little older now, like that, but I feel like he still has a lot left in the tank, and he can be big in our run for the potential final uh, chances of potential getting into the finals like that and and making these making this run in the playoffs. I guess so Jay Crowder would be a big addition to add um to the team. So hopefully we can do that and add him. Another guy to add is Jacob Poto. Jacob Poto's another guy on the list too. I feel like Jacob Poto is a solid guy in the middle. The Spurs are losing right now. I don't think kind of get into that mode where he's kind of going to start rebuilding. Greg Popovich is a legendary coach, amazing coach. Uh, he's the president of the Spurs too. I don't know if he's going to retire eventually and move up just to just a president spot or he's going to be here with the rebuild as well and just keep coaching until the wheels fall off like that. But Jacob Poto is a guy maybe he may be expendable. Look, maybe they might um, seek to trade him to add, get as much picks as they can. And Jacob Poto will be a nice addition to add. A guy who has size, a guy who can stretch, stretch the floor too and a guy who can play pretty well inside too and you know getting rebounds and boxing out and stuff and it just bring the it gives either heat more size and more usable size like that and gives more scoring off the bench from the five position because remember yours have been a guy who's been who's supposed to be filling in but he got injured late in, in the early in the season and he i don't think he gonna play this whole year and then Jokic, i mean not Jokic, jovich i wish he had Jokic, but jovich he's um out too i think he's out for what they said like what was it 10 with a Five to six weeks, four to, I think five to six weeks, something like that. He out for a little while too, but he's for me in my opinion, they should just run him at the one, really run him at the run. I know he's like seven feet, so like that, but he's not really a power forward like built. He's a tall guy like that, but he got some um, crazy handles and skills like that. Like you can play the one or the two even better. But adding a guy like Jacob Poto would be big time, big time, big time. Now the guy who I want us to trade for would be a bigger type of trade, bigger type of trade. Uh, as long as we keep Bam, Hero, and Jimmy, I'm not tripping. It'd be a big type uh, an old depot. Uh, it's a big type trade that um it'll probably cost a lot to um trade over. It might cost you some people, cost you some draft picks, but John Collins. John Collins was 24, 25 years old. John Collins it would be a big addition. It'd be great for the young core. Bam, Tyler Hero, and John Collins, and for the future, Jim Butler still got a lot of juice left too, of course. But for the um the deep future, John Collins would be big time to add to the roster 
the athleticism he has, the capability of scoring, his own three-point ability, the lob threat ability, everything he does. You know, interior defense, he's very athletic, so he can he can get some blocks and stuff inside. And I know he had a down year, but I feel like overall he's still a good player. We've seen him be at the all-star like level. We see him be like a guy who can average in the high teens and close to double-digit rebounds and stretch the floor and shoot high three-point percentage, 38, 39% around that range, and 40%. We see him being able to do that throughout his uh, tenure with the Atlanta Hawks. That, this year is a little exception. He kind of got to play a little ba- down. The injuries a little bit here and there. But I feel like in a new system, like the Heat, resurging them back to where he was the prior years before will be big time. And adding John Collins will be an amazing addition for Miami basketball. But that's really the picks I have, the, really the guys I have. I thought like the Heat should make a move for. Uh, hopefully, he do make a move and just on this freeze and not do anything at all. Hopefully, make a move and add that piece because I feel like the playoffs time comes are going to be big time moments. Uh, I know we just beat the Celtics today. I did a review on that on a little short video, but that was a big time game seeing Bam Bio just go at him. Remember, people kept saying, Oh, Williams shut Bam down. Robert Williams put the fear in Bam. Bam had 30. He had 30 and what, like 18 rebounds? Well, 16, 15 rebounds, yeah. 15 rebounds. He had two blocks, went out there and dominated. Bam has been our best player, if you ask me. Been our best player this season. Bam Bio been playing big time basketball. And we can add the pieces. Um, through Trey and just go ahead and finalize it, just adding that extra size off the bench, that extra depth to the team, it'll be, it'll be big time. Because Victor Depot is balling. We have our guy who can come off the bench and give us some big time points and who can be a starter in the, in the role too. I feel like him and Kyle Lowry should split, switch spots um, completely. I think that'd be big time too to have Victor Depot start the games with us like that. Because his playmaking ability and his uh, ability to guard around the perimeter and his ability to score, he does it all like that. He's an all around type of guy. But adding John Collins will be big, big time, major time. And now, like, get a team confidence. Like, hey, we're trying to win right now. We ain't worried about what's going to happen in the future. We ain't, we ain't worried about what happened yesterday or what happened in the previous year. We're trying to win right now. Adding him will be big, big time for the Miami Heat. And I feel like that would put us over the hump to win that championship. So, the Heat got to make a big, big time move. Let me know in the comment section what moves you guys think the Heat should make. But I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out.